How's it going, everyone? I'm the Stormy Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nasana Train. So last time we finished Chapter Two. Um, let's go on to Chapter Three without spoiling anything. Sure. What's gonna happen? Apparently, we got two dead bodies on our hands right now, so that's bad. Yeah, why not? Chapter 3 opening, here we come. <coughs> okay. You okay, dude? I can't take much more of this. What's wrong with this school? Who the hell was that? And why is he here? If he got hit with a hammer like that, he'd be goners. Um... Where's Kurosaki? Don't know what to tell you. Hi. What? Who's this guy? Don't worry about him. He was just here. We'll run into him any minute now. I'm sure of it. I hate this. I hate this. I don't want to die like that. You saw it too, right? Emmy's body? Her head. Her head was split wide open. Whoa. Yeah, not the same people. What? what are... It had to have been from that hammer. Don't think about it. Please. Did everyone go? Uh, well, look, to Croy, look, the hallway. It, it can't be. The corridor, it grew. Huh? What is? No, no, the other way. Look down the hall. Something's, ah, something's coming. What? Um, what? Whoa. I hope I don't have to reiterate the screen that was just made. Also, I forgot to do a thing. There we go. I forgot to adjust the volume ahead of time. Okay, I get it. He's done. Uh, all right, he's dead. He 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 is dead. Excuse me, what's going on? Uh oh. She said it already. Um, pardon? Like before she said it already. What the hell is going on? I wish I knew. I still don't know what the hell is going on. Bonnie, 
Don, Don, is that you? Don, Don the janitor, is that you? Hello? Give me back my hair. Of frickin' All right. Okay, then. Hold on. Hello? Uh, answer. Hello? There we go. Okay, there's a name we recognize. Ah, uh, hello? <laughs> I don't know who this is, but we're done here. Naomi? Are you there? Answer me. Please. Mom! Mom! Mom, it's me! I'm in real trouble! Naomi, please! Just let me hear your voice! Uh. Please! Just say something! I'm your mom, Naomi! Uh. Can she not hear me? God, please, don't let anything have happened to her. Shut up! Also, ticket, cooted, whatever that was, I, I don't know. Shush! I think it's how you say that. I don't know. Ah, there we go. I get it. I can't help you. Help me. That was probably wise. Naomi? Oh, right. That. I don't understand. We said we'd make it out of here together. Why would you kill yourself? What happened? Think long and hard, Naomi. For those of you who missed chapter one or haven't seen this before, basically Naomi snapped at her in a way that made her doubt everything. Enough said. What did you see? It really is a pity. Um. Were you? Yeah, that. Oh. I'm the spirit. I'm not doing a woman's voice. There are too many women in this game. I'm the spirit of a girl who died here. Do you know what happened to her? I believe your friend was afflicted. With what? The curse that holds this school together. Those who are touched by it slowly lose their minds to it. Some people realize this is happening and go to great lengths to prevent it. 
even taking their own lives. Of course, others just go insane. You know, no big deal. Sometimes, they start hurting the people around them. The exact response to this curse varies quite a bit from one person to the next. Great. That's horrible. Now that your friend has passed away, this school, this space, is yours alone. You are its only living occupant. By the way, how is she traversing from one space to another? No. You will be all by yourself from here on out until the day you die. Horrible night for a curse trophy just earned, apparently. By watching a cutscene. Cool. Naomi. My cell phone doesn't have Psycho's number stored in it. And everybody else's, too. It's like, ow! Oh, gosh. Ugh. That looks like it hurts. Oh, God, it hurts. That sound, is that my leg? Okay, didn't need to see that. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Pull yourself together. You're a tough cookie, Naomi. This isn't like what? I thought I thought Saka was dead. Huh? I'm I'm not tough at all. I go. Well, she's already saying it. I don't need to say it too. I can't take any more of this. Somebody, please help me. Oh boy. Um, anybody else find it weird that a high school student is crying for their mommy in this sense? At least in that wording. Okay, chapter three of five, I think. Howdy. You're doing great, Yuka. I'm really impressed how long you've gone without crying. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm not crying. I I'm not. I sense that other corporeal beings, such as yourselves, were brought here as well. Nine in total. Nine poor souls pulled in at once. That would be me and Yuka, Naomi, Yoshiki, Shinozaki, Misui, Shinohara, Suzumoto, and Maurice. Morishi? In other words, everybody in the room at the time. Damn it! So, everybody else is in this school, too? More or less? Not exactly. As I mentioned, this is a nexus of closed spaces. Your friends are scattered among them. So, in essence, they are indeed all still in the school, but it's not quite the same place for everyone. Meeting anyone else here may prove mm, 
difficult. If you, if you should attempt to defy the will of this school to find them, you may ultimately invoke its wrath. That's a fate. Best avoided. We have to try. We appreciate the warning, but we have to try. We'll do whatever it takes to find everyone and get out of here. Big brother. You know how I said I was not going to do any women's voices? I guess I lied. Without, ow, without even knowing. They're all such good people. They've done nothing to deserve this. And I absolutely will not give up on them. Just because there's some nebulous curse that might strike back at me. It's a rarity to find such righteous determination these days. Be sure you don't lose it along the way. Desire not to let a single person die. Try to retain that noble spirit, no matter what horrors may await. And even if you can't save everyone, you may still be able to alter your fate for the better. Even if only by the tiniest of margins. Just don't end up like us. Wow. Big brother? What is it? What did he mean by the school's wrath? I'm not sure. Is he saying the school has a mind of its own or something? You can put it that way. At any rate, we should try to find Miss Yui and the others as soon as possible. And we need to get you home, too. If you come across a way out of here, I want you to take it. There must be an entrance way, or an emergency exit, or roof access, or something that leads outside. And if so, you're to go straight home. No buts. Peach? Okay. Well, that cutscene pretty much took up the entire episode. Jeez. <sighs> Nothing I could do in here first, though. Not nothing. Not nothing. Okay, yeah. I guess that's all I can really do. Well, I guess we'll actually play the game next time. Well, that was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Corpse Party. Uh, if you like this uh, video, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a horror RPG or just horror game in general you'd like to see on here. Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out one that's done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right corner. The train to take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across my head here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride.